Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Design Time. Don't forget, we have a QR code for you right there on your screen for you to get more information on today's topic. We are at Tri-City Furniture uh, in Auburn with our great friend Kathy Kilborn. Kathy, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yes, of course. So today, there is so much information on the internet as it pertains to almost everything. Yes. And even furniture is right at our fingertips. And there is so much for us to know. But when researching about furniture, is it, should we believe everything we see on the internet? Well, I think just in general about everything, you should probably be cautious and not really believe what you're reading because there's so many great ways to slant the information to what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. So that seems like you would be taking a big chance on just taking whatever the internet says at face value. Yes, the, the problem with furniture is that it's big, and it's a lot of boxes and you can't see it. Uh, there's a lot of variable names. You just aren't sure exactly what you're gonna get. And a lot of people, especially like on Amazon, will purchase things online because it's usually a bit less expensive. Is that true? Not in furniture so mm. much. You have to understand because of the size and shipping, it has a lot more issues than just some little thing that you're ordering right. that maybe you could pick up in a store. But in furniture, it's a different thing. Most American manufacturers do not ship on the internet because their furniture is built it is not disassembled. When you're buying on the internet, it pretty much has to be put together. And so that is one of the big, big variables. And so you're not gonna find brands and the construction that you'll find from American manufacturers being sold on the internet. So Kathy, is there really any way to know if what you're buying online is good or not? Not really, they really say different kinds of names um, and like if you would um, you know try to find what is the best sofa they might give you the 10 best sofas according to them when you really look those up they're all internet products they are not American manufacturing and they are trying to sell you specifically those things on the internet so they're not going to compare it to something you have in the store because they want you to buy on the internet remember that's what they're doing they are wanting you to buy those products on the internet and that's their focus not to really give you good information mm -hmm. and construction and keep in mind that they can lots of times say it's made in America but it's imported parts it's uh, uh, the, everything, the springs, the, the, the wood, anything that they can get, they may assemble it here. Another trick might be that it's made in North America. That could mean it's made in Mexico mm -hmm. and then is brought here. It's not even assembled or anything here. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of variables. You just got to be careful. I lots of times look things up and then when I go to market, I kind of check things out if it's any kind of a name that I can find. But most of these manufacturers private label um, or they're an import company w so that there just isn't information at a market because they're not here, mm -hmm. they're an import. So Kathy, if you can't really sit on it or see it in person, how do you know if you're paying a good price? Well, that's the trick. Mm -hmm. I say that too, is like, how do you know? Many of those sofas online are not cheap. They're, they can be 15, 1800. You have limitation, maybe it comes in this fabric, that's it. You have no variables in cushions or springs. They don't give you any information. Keep in mind that somebody, someplace, is describing the wonderful luxurious comfort I can I can use all those words mm -hmm. but that's a personal thing and you really don't know what you're getting on the internet so Kathy what happens if it comes you get it and you don't like it well some of the companies will arrange for to re return it mm -hmm. But that would mean, remember, you put it together, you have to take it apart, you have to put it back in the box. Many of the companies today will have more of a donation set up. 
Um, and then the credit. Now, everything is done through the Internet, so you're never talking to a person to get this done. I know people give up on it because it's just they can't mm -hmm. get results. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind that it's not easy. And furniture, especially if it has any function, could need service. And there, there won't be local service for it because we don't even know what those companies are. Mm -hmm. And so it's really difficult to, to work with. So Kathy, what if you have an issue with the quality of the furniture that you got? Uh, do most of these come with like a warranty? Well, they can have warranties. It's just how do you get anybody to service it? When we do warranties today, manufacturers have learned about these internet companies. And so we have to give them an invoice number purchase date, all that stuff. The problem with the internet companies is you don't know who they are or where they are. And so getting service is really difficult. I might want to try to help you, but the problem is I can't get parts and it's not going to be a warranty because I didn't sell it. So I don't have that extra information to give to work under a warranty. So if you're buying online, you know, really consider you probably don't have any kind of a warranty. Most of those online companies have not made profit. And the only reason they keep going is because of new orders. But one day, they probably will just disappear. And then it, your warranty will go with that. So Kathy, does buying furniture online just kind of end up costing you more in the end? Well, if you would go out and compare some quality furniture to what you're looking at because you can get all the same styles. You remember that these manufacturers are the ones setting the styles. Those guys are copying it and then removing whatever they can to help keep the price down. But the catch is they don't keep the price down. They still want to make a profit. Mm -hmm. And if you think that shipping is free, Sofas many times can cost me 150 to 300 dollars to get it, depending on where it's coming from. So, free shipping doesn't exist. You you just have to understand it's in the cost someplace. So, there's a lot of confusion for people. You know, don't think it's going to be less expensive because many of those things are way more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but then you don't know what quality you're getting. And that's yeah. really the problem mm -hmm. is how it holds up. And you can't afford just to throw it away. Typically, you've invested a thousand or fifteen or two thousand. And so there's a lot of money involved. Mm -hmm. And you know, people say, well, I'll just get another one. Well, that's a lot of expense. Buying a good quality one and keeping it for 10 years is a lot less expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for helping us to better understand what it's like to buy furniture online or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I say furniture is not the item to buy online because mm -hmm. you just don't know what is inside of this box. And it, it really has to do with the longevity, the quality of the foams. And remember, all these companies have taken everything out that they can take out to get the cost down. They don't give you the cheapest price, mm -hmm. but they have to get their costs down so that they can make that happen on the Internet. So, Kathy, thank you. Thank you. Yes, and thank you for being here with us for this edition of Design Time.